Hey YouTube, I got another Raspberry Pi video for you today. This one is about installing Minecraft on your Raspberry Pi. It's a pretty easy setup, so let's go ahead and get started. To do this, you'll need a Raspberry Pi, of course, with at least a 2GB SD card, and you'll need to install Debian on it. The latest version will be the best. You'll also need an active internet connection on any of your computers. The easiest way to do it is have an active internet connection on your Raspberry Pi, so you can download the file directly to it. If you don't have an internet connection on your Raspberry Pi, then you can just copy it to a flash drive, but that takes longer. Alright, so as you can see, I have created an icon for Minecraft right here, and as you can see up here, it actually does run. <coughs> I have a level I can choose, but I'm going to delete that all this stuff for now, or I can come back to it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, now let's go ahead and show you how to install it. I have it installed in my user directory right here in MCPI. But we're going to go ahead and delete all these files so I can show you how to download and install it. Alright, to install it, simply open up your web browser. Wait for it to load. And um, now we will go to pi.minecraft.net. You'll really want to watch this video in HD so you can actually see what the text says since this is coming off my Raspberry Pi in 1080p. Alright, now scroll down on this page until you say to download, click here, and then click that button to begin the download process. The file is really small, so it shouldn't take very long to download. Alright, it's almost done downloading, or is that done? Okay, yeah, it's done. If you click clear all, I, when the blue bar goes all the way across, it's done downloading. Now, I really like the, the new version of Debian for Raspberry Pi. It's a lot faster than it used to be. I used the Raspberry Pi when it first came out. I was in like the second uh, shipment, and it was very slow. I mean, web browsing is now kind of slow still. Like, if you're scrolling, it's kind of choppy and stuff, but... Overall, it's a lot better experience than it was when the um, Raspberry Pi first came out. Alright, so if you open up your user directory, which you can access by clicking on this button right next to the uh, start button, whatever it's called, right click on Minecraft and say extract here. Alright. Now we should have a new file. Press F5 to refresh the view. Oops. Maybe not F5. Okay. And now you can open up this. And you'll have Minecraft Pi. And that's what you'll run. If you want, you, create, you can create a shortcut to this. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it is doable. Um, you have to create a new, te a new text file on your desktop. I'll have a link to one uh, example in the description below. As you can see, it just points to the executable and the icon I downloaded. You can use whatever icon you want. Then if you double click this, you can click execute. If you make a shortcut, you won't need to click that. And here you go, you have Minecraft. We can go ahead and say start game. And here's the level I made. Alright, and we're actually playing Minecraft. It runs quite fast. It has sounds. Uh, this is just the standard creative mode, so all bricks break almost immediately. And you can fly, of course. And look how fast this renders. I mean, I'm flying, and it's rendering quite fast. What is that? Oh, those random blocks in the air. Alright. So yeah, you can place blocks, of course, and break them. You can't pick up blocks because it's an early version of creative mode. Pressing E will bring you to this menu here where you can pick whatever you want. 
And now you can't, this game doesn't work very well full screen, because as you can see here, you have this window running on top of this one. It might be hard to see if you're not watching HD and in full screen. But if you click this button while you're in game, it maximizes it. Just press escape, you go back to here, and you can actually play the game in full screen. And you might be saying, why don't you just do that all the time? Oh yeah, shift, spacebar is jump, and double tap it to fly, and shift is crouch, and double tap it when you're flying. To go, or just hold it when you're flying to go down. But yeah, um, when you're in full screen, menus don't quite work all the way. As you can see, I can only scroll in a small area. If I try to scroll out of it, it just doesn't move. So that is quite a problem. To counteract this, what you can do is every time you need to access the menu, such as this, you scroll over it. I don't know if you can see the transparency, but um, you'll be able to see through the window to the black box behind it. Just go ahead and click the third, the second button to bring it back to normal size, and then you'll have access to the full menu. So let's say I want to put a sign out in front of my house. Then I just press escape again and maximize. I mean, it's kind of irritating to have to do that every time you want to go to a certain part of the menu. But I think it's worth it to be able to actually play the game in full screen. And apparently we can't type in the, on these signs yet, but... When a later version comes out, we might be able to do that. Alright, and we have this, which is the viewpoint, and we can turn sounds on or off. So now we're playing in third person. Steve looks a little bit taller than normal, or his legs, I don't know. This looks a little bit off, but it's not a huge deal. Um, one really interesting thing I found out, uh, if you quit to title, and you click join game, oh, sorry, we have to unmaximize it since we're in the menu. Click join game. It'll say searching for network games. That will let you play with other Raspberry Pis that um, are also p playing uh, Minecraft Portable Edition. Uh, not Portable Edition. Pi Edition. <laughs> but one interesting thing is if you have Minecraft Pocket Edition and you start up a game then it will actually show up here. You can't actually join the game which is kind of sad but that's because they're not Compatible. See, it says incompatible server. But it has the same um, network interface. So that means at some point we may be able to actually play this, this is a play Minecraft Pi Edition cross platform with phones and tablets. That would be something that's really interesting. Um, sadly, I only have one Raspberry Pi, so I can't show you what multiplayer would look like. But uh, regardless, it, it's, this is still pretty cool. So, okay, I hope you all enjoy playing Minecraft on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, if a new version comes out, I'll show you so you can see how to play it without having to maximize and minimize and all that other stuff to get the game done. But yeah, uh, see you all later.